Okay, good morning. Uh, this is beginning pitching Tony Wilder, and we're going to do a mid summary. Uh, this summary is going to cover some very simple things. First of all, we've covered most of the material in the first four videos. In the two leg videos, the red outfit videos, we covered what needs to be done in order to bring the leg action into effect to throw the ball. Uh, in the green video, and the purple outfit video, we covered the upper body action. Between those videos, the, the, the videos on balance, and the, and the other videos on different types of leg action, we have a basis to summarize what it is that we're trying to do here. Now, yesterday was the first game of the season. Uh, we are uh, about to get going here. This is really, really cool. And, uh, we're about, I've seen a couple, three, maybe four pitchers that are, really know what they're doing and they know how to do it. Every one of them leaves something out. Uh, and, and usually people are going to do that when they want to just throw the ball, to the ball as fast as they can. But with certain aspects of what you're doing, like the leading hip, okay, is where you're coming out like this, the leading hip, okay, other aspects of, of this game, like the ejector leg, throwing the leg in there to pull you forward, okay. Coming from down here, okay, from, from uh, Tim Lissicum style, well, you need a strong arm to, to, th to throw like this, okay, to throw overhand. And there's a typical stuff where you just come in and, and you throw. All that is an easily adaptable form once you've studied the basic videos. Now I'm going to throw a couple of balls. I'm just going to throw a standard, a few standards. And uh, then we'll do some of the uh, Hideo Nomo, some, some of the uh, Timmy Lincecum stuff. It looks unusual, but it, it works really well. So, this is standard stuff, okay? This is where you should be by about now if you've been watching the videos and doing what you're supposed to do. Of course, you're going to come on the block, okay? you, you got to start from here. This is your starting point. Everything after that is an open book, okay? You're going to come down. And you're going to fire the ball. Okay. There's another standard fashion throw. Okay. Pretty simple stuff. Okay. Ordinary stuff there. Okay. Now here's, this is more Timmy Lincecum style, more Hideo Nobo. Uh, it's kind of sophisticated, but it works really well. And it works really well if you're not as tall as, say, some of these bigger guys who can, who can really throw. Okay, that was a little off. Okay, but uh, here's another one. Okay, here we go. All right. That is orbital throwing. Okay, coming down from here and then all the way around and throwing over the top. When you throw like that, you can really feel it in your hand and your arm. You see this pitching sleeve I'm wearing? Wow, if I didn't have this pitching sleeve, I would not be able to throw like that. Uh, basically, most everything that you're going to put into your pitching execution is going to come down to what we talked about before, okay? And that element was balance. Balance. It's never going to be any different. You only have two components to pitching, okay? Two basic components. That's balance and power. And of course, power comes in later. You throw in the power at the beginning, and you're going to injure yourself. You're going to do something that you don't feel was a, a good idea to do. So. You're always looking to achieve balance no matter what you do. Throwing the ball is what you're doing automatically anyway. Okay, that's what you're on the field to do. You're, you're, you're there to, to, to rear the arm back and throw it. So achieving balance is every last thinking thought that you have in your mind. That The more you can do that with the various techniques that you're using, and there's so many, you've seen the videos, you, you, you know what to expect when you step out onto the field, balance is what you're looking for. Here's one of the style throw. That's using your whole body. That's using your whole body to throw the ball. I'll, I'll, I'll try another example. 
You get velocity with the ball like that. You really, really do. Now, there's a couple of other things that you'll want to notate about what you're doing when you're on the mound. And this should be able to help you understand how fast you're really throwing the ball. If you're getting real velocity with the ball, you could hear your hand ripping through the air. Uh, I'm able to hear that on a lot of occasions. Not all the time, okay, I'm not always that good, that fast, but when I'm there, when my balance is there and I've applied power, my hand will rip the air. Now, here, where we're at in Fort Lauderdale, uh, we're pretty close to sea, sea level. Uh, I, I, my hand maybe is making a sound based on the amount of humidity in the air, I don't know. If you're in the Rocky Mountains or you're out west or, you know, wherever you are, maybe it might not so be so easy to hear that sound, but I bet you could. I bet you could. When you throw that ball right, okay, this camera will record that sound. So I will try and throw on three occasions right now, uh, three balls as fast as I can. You see if you can hear it on the video. So if you can, then you can. If you can't, you can. But uh, I'll give it a shot, okay? And I'm looking for velocity only. Perfect pitching execution. I'll do my best. That's one. Okay, then what really helps too, uh, I think I should you know, tell you the truth. Uh, th these regulation balls have raised stitching, okay? That, that raised stitching is gonna make more of a sound going through the air than say a, uh, a typical ball that you buy in the store that is not the regulation type. All right, here we go. Maybe you can hear that, maybe you can, I'm not sure, but I bet you can. I bet you can. And those are, those are examples of, of, of what you should be hearing when you're getting some real speed out of the ball. It's nice to have a gun where you can uh, record, a radar gun where you can record what's happening. That's not always possible. And, uh, Good radar gun, of course, is a, a fairly expensive item. Maybe you have one, maybe you don't. I don't know, but uh, you should be hearing that sound. Now, this mid-level summary here is something that basically culminates uh, a, a certain period of what we've done up to now. We'll have a further, uh, more final summary in the future. But for the immediate moment, beginning with the baseball season 2018, here we are, first minor league game yesterday. This is Tony Wilder from Beginning Pitching. Thank you very much. And don't forget to uh, su subscribe and uh, uh, comment if you wish. Uh, I've never asked anybody to do that on any video before. I'm doing it here because I've had a few people say to me, you know, why don't you ask people to do that? I don't have a whole lot of hits on my videos except my other teachers who look at what I'm doing. And, you know, kind of wonder what's what I'm, what's going on. Uh, they want to see something new. Uh, in any case, this is Tony Wilder for Beginning Pitching. Thank you very much.